Okay, here's the hammock I plan on sleeping in tonight. You just strap it to a tree. Nice little carabiner setup. I got my uh, ridge rest in there just for a little uh, body. Now I'm going to run a ridge line across the top and put the uh, tarp up over it. Jackie's over there in the old single wall. Okay, okay. I have the uh, ridge line run. Simple hitch on that side. Over here. Ran it around. Got the tag coming out here. I hooked it up to the end of my tarp. And I have it down there. I'll clean that mess up later. I don't feel like cutting line when I don't have to. So I use these quick release bites. This is my tarp. It's a still nylon. It's about 8 foot by 10. I added, I epoxied these uh, straps on, left a little loop in there, and I tied off with a simple square knot along the ridge line. So, that's what the setup looks like before I've staked it out. I used a piece of scrap line that I had from an earlier setup to finish this side. Next time, I'm going to leave a uh, tag line off my ridge line, maybe three, four feet long, so I can work off that end and not have to use this line here. This tarp came with uh, preset grommets, but I didn't think there were enough, so I added these. I just took some Gorilla duct tape, put it around there, punched in a new hole, and added a grommet. I've run them along the length also. Here's my first one. I didn't use the tape and I did an awful job hammering that in. I learned after that one and I did it properly along the rest of the way. This is some scrap line that I've been using. I've had this for a long, long time. You can see it's starting to fray on the ends here, so we're going to take care of that right now so we can still use this for many more seasons to come. Okay, that's the danger of uh, silicon nylon. This will go up. Any kind of flame will set this on fire. It will go right up like a match. I'm going to stake it out now. Okay, here's the setup. Staked out on all four corners. Ridge line on the outside. There's the hammock on the inside. I got it down pretty low on this side because the wind's coming in from the lake to this side, so I staked her down pretty low. I meant to stake it right about here, but there's a lot of underground rock. The closest place I could actually dry the stake into the ground was right there in between those two big guys. So, not a bad little setup. Not a bad setup. Okay, here I am inside. Still getting a little used to it. This is my first time in the hammock. Got the ridge rest, giving a little uh, definition. Normally I wouldn't have my boots on. Uh, the only downside I can see so far by running the ridge line on the outside is you have nowhere to hang anything on the inside. I have this pocket. It's a stuff sack pocket for the actual hammock itself. You can put, you know, headlight in there. What need you? But I was kind of hoping to have something hang from the top. I may have to rethink this exterior ridge line. I don't know, we'll see. I could always run another line on the inside if it really bugs me that much. Got plenty of line left over. So, I think this just might work. <laughs> 